Good morning, everybody. Welcome to The Daily Race. So glad to have you here as we are kicking off this Thursday morning. As you can see, I'm, I'm back in my house. I slept in my super comfortable bed last night. I had a regular cup of coffee. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. We had a great time at our staff retreat. You know, one of the things that we talked about is that we move at the speed of relationships and uh, any team is dependent on the relationships in that team. So we took a little bit of time to get away here at the beginning of the year uh, to um, do some team building, getting ready for the year. Uh, sometimes you have to slow down in order to speed up. And uh, a lot of times at, at you know in ministry, we we're going at a breakneck speed to be able to slow down, pour into relationships, and really practice what we're preaching. <laughs> we're in this series, Slow Your Roll. And uh, we're talking about <coughs> how so often the pace of life is so fast, so unsustainable that we miss out on the joys of life. We miss out on the joy of serving, the joy of ministry, and the joy of relationships, and uh, we are putting that put that into practice as a team for you know about a day and a half. Now we're back, ready to go, and I'm so glad to be. Although it's a little lonely not being here with you know Pastor Mike and Pastor Mark and Darius popped in right afterwards as well. So, but anyways, back in my house, and we are doing the daily race. Uh, we are in Colossians chapter three today. <laughs> we're following along with the Relu relentless elimination of hurry uh, uh, reading plan from you version and we're in Colossians chapter 3 uh, we're, I'm going to read just a couple verses here and then we'll, we'll talk about it a bit it says this let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms hymns and songs of the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in work or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. So this passage is talking about, about two things here. It's talking about peace, letting peace rule us, and the togetherness that that takes, that this is a group effort, which makes sense. When you think about most of the conflict in your life, most of the time when you don't feel at peace, what does it usually involve? another person, right? We don't usually feel at tension or at war with inanimate objects. <laughs> my couch has never made me feel not at peace. <laughs> my, well, I'll be honest, my car sometimes has made me feel not at peace. <laughs> but usually, usually honestly, it's other people that we need to, to fight and work to be at peace with other people, have our relationship fun, strong, um, treat each other well. That, that helps maintain the peace in our lives. And what does that take? Time. It takes time to do that. You don't maintain good relationships at a full sprint. Uh, when me and my, my friend Ben go for running, uh, we go on, on long runs. We do not run very fast because we want to have a conversation. The faster we go, the harder the words come. The faster they go, the shorter the sentences get. It becomes just choppy little yes, no things back and forth. But if we can slow down the pace, if we keep our heart rate down, if we can, you know, get at a pace where we can have a conversation, man, it's awesome. We talk about incredible things. We, we build our relationship. We have a great time doing that. But at a fast pace, that does not happen. Peace, peace in our relationships happens at a slower pace. And, and then the other part of this that I love the picture, it says this, let the peace of Christ rule your hearts. Let it rule your hearts. When we think about God's kingdom, God's, Jesus said that, I came so that you can hear about the kingdom of God. We pray for God's kingdom to come. What does that mean? It means his rule and authority. That as we let God rule in our lives, peace fills that up. Uh, what do you have to do for that though? In order to let something rule in your life, it means you have to surrender, right? You have to give up control. That when we're fighting, when we're pushing against it, that's the opposite of peace. When we surrender control to God, when we let him fill us, lead us, guide us, when we let him be king, the result of that type of living is a trail of peace, a, uh, a sense of peace covering the, every area that God rules in our lives. The parts that we keep back is where there's tension. The parts that we keep for ourselves is where peace does not live. So as we let God rule in our lives, and as we let that God rule in our lives affect the relationships of those around us, where we're 
having good conversations, we're pouring into relationships, we're dealing with conflict when it comes up, we're settling those types of things, peace rules in those relationships as well. And that's the mark of what the life that we want, right? Like no one goes about today like, man, I, I hope I have a conflict filled day. I hope I have a day full of anxiety. I, I, I hope today, man, I'm just <clears throat> anxious all day long. No, we want peace and God wants to give us peace. But it causes us, but it needs us to surrender to him and work on relationships. Work on our relationship with him and our relationships with others. And that means we need to slow down to do that. So let's practice slowing down today. Let's practice pouring into those most important relationships. If there's a conflict you need to resolve, or maybe just attention, like you can feel it starting to, to come under the surface, right? Like you, you, you know those, those people in your life, and you, like there's something there, I'm not sure what it is. Don't let it fester. Don't wait for it to become a full-blown com- conflict. Is there a conversation today, a quick conversation today that could avoid a sit-down meeting two months from now where you're having to hash it out? Let's be quick to resolve that. Let's take the time today so we don't have to take exorbitant amounts of time later on to do it. Let's pray. Lord, we love you, and we thank you so much uh, that you you leave a trail of peace in our lives. God, the more we surrender to you, the more we let you rule in our lives, we submit to you, we'll let you be in control, let you be in charge. God, just the result of that is, is peace. God, we want your peace, so we need to submit to you. We submit to you today. Our answer is yes. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. I hope you have a great, great rest of the day, and I look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now on the next Daily Race. Love you guys.